100 jams where hit music lives. Locked in the midday chop up right here with the girl Erin Breen. Definitely have to get that Cardi B, Bodak Yellow in the mix. And if you don't know why, I'm about to tell you right now. We're going to start things off with this all about chat trap, letting you know what's happening in the media. Now, I'm happy to see so many female rappers dominate all at once. But you know, anytime there's a lot of females involved, drama always comes along with it. And for some time now, fans have been debating on whether or not Cardi B and so Weedy have beef since they are never seen together in photos and they did have some back and forth on social media um, which did not end up involving Cardi B's sister Hennessy at one point but recently Saweetie did an interview stating that there's a possible collaboration with her and Cardi and there's no beef going on and sometimes social media just blows things out of proportion but even if they do have a possible collaboration coming real soon right now I'm sure it'll cost a pretty penny seeing that Cardi B just became the first female rapper to earn a diamond single award for Bodak Yellow and her single Wap with Megan Thee Stallion is now five times platinum and she did even uh, post on social media stating that she didn't even think it was going to do as well since it has so many controversy around it. Since so many um, artists just started bashing it, you know, on the male side, seeing that Jermaine Dupri had a few things to say about it and some other male artists in the game saying that, you know, it's almost like it's just a bunch of strippers rapping these days. And yeah, that didn't go too well, but happy for Cardi B, man. Congratulations. You did definitely come from the bottom. But since we're talking about beef, I have to mention what's being rumored with Pop Can and Jack Cure. So you can tell from the music that both men are womanizers. And it doesn't come as a surprise that their beef involves a woman. So Foot of Hype, also known as the Viral King, shared the story on a live video stating that while a female was at Jack Cure's home, she called Pop Can to pick her up because allegedly Jack Hero wasn't allowing her to leave. So Popcorn originally tried to resolve the situation over the phone, but that didn't work. So he forced himself onto Jack Hero's territory with a firearm to pick up the female. Now Jack Hero also had a machete and the two went at it verbally though. So it's really good to see that things did not get nasty seeing that both of the men are so talented in the business. And just recently, I think what Sean Paul was talking about, you know, um, the beef against, yeah, the beef in the reggae business. And I really just wouldn't be good to see Jack Yor and Brock Gong go at it, man. But Jack Yor has been getting some issues with women. Seen the last year, he had some issues with two um, females that he said he paid for some extracurricular activities and they did not receive and he wanted his money back and he was seen on a video abusing the women. I don't know what's going on, but I definitely do hope that... Um, Things calm down with Jack here, all right? But let you know some real, real hot news right now, which um, is very stunning for me if you didn't know about it as yet. But social media users have claimed an image shows an unsafe COVID-19 vaccine that is only distributed in Africa. Um, I probably will mess up the pronunciation of this one. But I think it's Remdesivir. So that's saying that, you know, it's not a COVID-19 vaccine, but, you know, they're only distributing it in Africa right now. But on the other side, another side of the box, is the even bigger message and it states that it's not for distribution in the US, Canada or EU. So this has led some social media users to say that the drug is a COVID-19 vaccine that due to safety reasons is only being distributed in Africa and they're saying that they're basically trying to wipe out Africa right now. So I don't know, it's, it's pretty crazy the fact that you would just make a particular drug or a particular vaccine just for Africa. Come on now, and I don't I don't know what's going on, but all I can say is just take your time when it comes to these COVID-19 vaccines because we definitely do not know which one will affect you the worst. But that's it for Chat Trap, letting you know what's happening in the media. Jumping back into the mix right now, got a Saweetie, Janae Iko, back to the streets.